everybody. How are we doing tonight? It's Friday night. It's party time. <laughs> hi, Leslie. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Christy. Hi, Jane. Hey, hi, Anne. Hi, uh, Missy and Christy. I said Christy twice. You're special, Christy. I said your name twice. You get special treatment. So we're going to make postcards. I'm going to use yellow cardstock because I'm just going to paint over it anyway. And I've had this yellow cardstock for flipping ever. And I never use it because it's like a weird color yellow. It's not like a, any kind of pretty col color yellow. It was given to me years and years and years ago. And uh, it's like kind of like highlighter yellow. I don't know if it shows up on the screen as that. But it's like really, really bright yellow. So I don't use it very much. So... So, we are going to use this for some posty cards. Let's see. What's the best way to get the most out of this? This is eight and a half, so that wouldn't matter. Six. I think either way, I'm only going to get two postcards out of each one, maybe. Let's try. Well, let's cut one this way and see what happens. Six, because they're four by six, so we'll do six inch this way and then will this be four inch yeah that'll give me oops All right, hold on six by four So hello to people who are just coming in. There's one postcard out of that piece of paper. I should be able to get two more. Let's do four. And four. So three postcards. Now if I did it the other way, where I started off like this, going six inches, will I still get three postcards out of it? Maybe. Let's see. Let's experiment. I'm doing postcards. That's what I'm up to. I think I do get three. So either way, you get three, I think. Well, maybe not, actually. Ooh, no. You only get two. Look at that. Okay, so the first way was the right way. Cut six inches from it long ways. All right, we learned a lesson there. We sure did. We learned something new today. That was exciting. Wasn't that exciting? We get one extra postcard if we did it one way. I love that when that happens. Hello, dolls and more. I don't know the first part. Blizzardbug. Dolls and more. And I always forget your name. I know you've told it to me, but I forget. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Denise. Hi, Melanie. Are you new, Melanie? Because I have not remember seeing your name, Melanie. What did I do? Was this... Oh, no. I did that. that. I'm going to do this four inches and then six. Right? Yeah. Six inches this way. And then four inches this way because they're six by four. Use my brain. Brain doesn't work. Okay, so that leaves me with a bunch of scraps, which I can then cut up into ATCs and such. Let's see. I'm not going to worry about that little scrap. Um, let's see. How big is this? Lynn. Oh, that's right. Lynn. Duh. I knew that. I knew that. Shh, I knew that. I knew that. I really knew that. I didn't forget. I knew that. This is two and a half by three and a half, and we'll cut an ATC out of it right away. Get that out of the way. I knew that, Lynn. I knew it. I forget. I hate my life because I forget so much. E it easily, too. So stupid. I feel so stupid when I forget something so obvious that I knew, too. I knew that. If I would have just thought for a, like, a split second longer, I would have been like, oh yeah, that's Lynn. God. 
these are all turning out to be two and a half. So so I'm making, I'm assuming that's two and a half. Yep. So just make it some ATC bases while I've got these here. And I've got these. And what's this one? This one's not going to be two and a half. This one's three inches. I'll leave this one alone for the time being. Okay. So we've got a bunch of ATCs. That's for later. And we've got a bunch of postcards. That's for now. I knew that. Jane reiterated that I knew that. Okay. So we've got postcards. I don't know how many we got. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One shy of twelve. And if I would have cut that one piece of paper correctly, I would have had twelve. Ugh, frustrating. So we will start with six because that's what the challenge is. If you don't know, um, there's a challenge in the group. Um, to do postcards, to make six postcards. Hello, Lena. Hello, anybody that just came in that I am not seeing all well. Wouldn't it be great if we could all hang out and like talk to each other? That would be awesome. I think it would, as many people as sometimes gets in these live streams, it might be a little confusing with everybody talking, but it would still be kind of fun. I mean, I know you can do a, uh, I know you can do like Google Hangouts and all that, but you can only have up to what? I think 10 people. It would just be interesting. <laughs> um, what am I looking for? I don't even remember what I just said. <laughs> I'm looking for gesso. I think I'm cracking up today because my day started off really slow and kind of crappy. Oh, I'm running out of gesso. I'm going to have to make some more. I probably have enough for what I'm doing here, hopefully. And I have other gessos. I just like my homemade gesso. I don't know why. I have other gessos I've gotten from the Creative Reuse, I think. I might have. Not much, but I'm sure I do have some. I moved my paintbrushes around today. They used to be to the left of me, and now I moved them to the right of me because I did, again, at, like more organizing of crap, um, which is what I'm endlessly doing in here because I don't have much room, and I have too much junk. And... That's exactly what it is. This <laughs> is junk. I got the most amazing happy mail from Wanda today. She is such a sweet lady. So, and she's in the, she's in the chat. She sent me an awesome happy mail, which I'll, sh there's a separate video for that because it was a lot of stuff. So there will be a video going up tomorrow about that. Um... What size are the postcards? Four by six. Four inches by six inches. You can make them uh, like pretty much any size, as long as they're not like ridiculously big or ridiculously small. I think like it's accepted if you're going to send them, you can actually make them a little bit smaller because I have some that I've done that are a little bit smaller and some that are a little tiny bit bigger. But the standard size is four by six. So that's basically that. Yeah, I kept burying my paintbrushes. I kept putting stuff in front of them when they were over to my right and like kind of burying them behind things. And I use my paintbrushes a lot. So I have these two white spinny caddies, one there and one there um, that I've had for years. I got from like Michael's or something when they were on clearance or on sale or something. Um, and so Honestly, that's where my brushes should be, and they were at one point, and then I ended up taking them out, which I don't know why, so I just put them back in there, because it just made more sense. But those caddies are so full, I had to like clean them out a little bit and straighten them up a little, because they were really, really full. Clump. Am I skipping? Let me know. Not skipping, not skipping. It might be re um re uh reload the page if it's skipping, Debbie. 
usually I don't start skipping until a little bit later, but if I am now, I, I can fix it. Most of the time, anyway, I can fix it. I can restart the stream, which you guys will just see a blank page for a minute. Oh, that's a good idea. Thanks, Aunt Beck. Yeah, if, if you're having issues, switch it to the 720. I forget to tell people that. But Aunt Beck, she is on top of it. She knows all the ins and outs. Now look at my desk is more covered in gesso than anything. Yeah, it's always better to watch it in HD. Um, it'll come through, I think, better that way. Don't you love how I'd rather hold it in my hand and get gesso all over my hand than get more gesso on my desk? <laughs> I'd rather have my hands dirty than my desk dirty. Alright, let me move that over for a second and clean this mess up. Clean it up. Before I do that, let me take what's on my brush and go over this one so I don't waste all that gesso on my brush. So I can pretty much do this whole card again with just what's on there. And I don't like to waste. Yeah, I film in HD, so you should be able to watch it in HD. It should make it clearer for you. Hopefully. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Do Dala. Dolly. Dolly Rivera. Is this your first time ever watching? Welcome! Yay! Is this your first time ever watching any live stream? Or just my live stream. I'm making a hot mess over here. I should use paper towels instead of in Windex instead of using up my baby wipes all the time. I have it right next to me today. Hi, Bev. Don't fall asleep, Bev. We'll keep you awake. We'll be nice and loud. Woohoo! <laughs> Am I freezing now? Is anybody having issues with the with the video? Just for just for uh, poops and giggles, I'll restart it real quick. Just hold still, guys. I'll be right back. Just so that, this way, everybody can watch it better. Hold on. Okay, that should be better. Is it better? Is it better? That should be better. Um, Malika, I don't even want to hear it. She always says she's going to be sleeping, and she's going to leave, she'll so fall asleep, and she's here later than anybody else. <laughs> you crack me up, girl. You ain't going to sleep. You'll be here all night. That's because you love me. Yes, there's a black there was a black screen because I just uh, I just restarted. Did you not hear me say it, lady? I said I was going to restart it. You got six cards, Lynn. You're going to work along with me. Now, obviously, you're going to use whatever colors you want on yours and have whatever embellishments you want on yours. If you have a really bad connection, Debbie, um, don't put it on uh, don't put it on 720 HD drop it down to like four or something or three something because that'll at least keep your connection more stable. The, the, the video itself might be a little grainier but at least the uh, connection will stay still. So if you only do the high the HD if your computer and your, and your internet can handle it. Otherwise, you know, switch it back down. And if you, uh, for anybody that is new here, um, Make sure if you have something to say to me specifically, you put it in all caps. And if you're just talking in the chat to other chatters, 
please just talk in regular caps, like, or, you know, not caps. But if you have something to say to me, like a question or comment, you could say it in all caps, but then drop your caps back off before you start talking to other people in the chat, please. This way I don't get confused and go, huh? What? What's going on? <laughs> um, you were working on mixed media mashup and fell asleep for two hours. What'd you do? Like mid paint stroke, just fall asleep on your desk? <laughs> I don't think I've ever crafted and fell asleep. I'm going to do a couple of flat postcards that I can send overseas. Probably like three or four of them. I'm going to do more than six postcards. I'm going to be sending out more than six. So I'm going to do some that are flat that I can send overseas. And then I'm going to do a bunch that are not flat that I can put in an envelope and throw a couple, you know, and bring to the post office and spend very little money to send. Um, so that's how you usually how I like to work. I'm still waiting for these to dry. I could use the heat gun, but I was talking and I didn't think you'd hear me very well if I was talking and... You know, so we're going to start off with these six, and I may, no, maybe I won't gesso the back. I don't know yet if I'm going to double them up or not. And I don't know if I'm going to gesso them again. I may gesso them one more time, just for a little more opaque, opacity. You zonked out after stamping the words in. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Yes, this is regular cardstock. It's just yellow. It's just regular yellow cardstock. I usually use just regular yellow cardstock for, or, or regular cardstock, whether, you know, white, yellow, whatever, um, for postcards. And, and unless I know I'm mailing it in the United States, then I'll use uh, a chipboard, like a thin chipboard. But if I'm going to be mailing it overseas, and I don't know which one of these I'm going to be mailing overseas, um, I'll use just regular cardstock. Or even, even put two pieces of cardstock together and glue it. So I might back these on cardstock later if I feel like they're too flimsy. You know? I might glue it on cardstock later, but I'll worry about that later. No, you, it's not photo paper. It's probably just shiny because it's wet. Because it's got gesso on it. You don't have to gesso it, Lynn. If you have white cardstock, you don't have to gesso it. Alright, I'm going to hit this with the heat gun. Let me slap some more gesso on here. Two coats should be plenty. I'll hold them in my hand so I don't have to clean my table. It'll be faster anyway. I don't mind cleaning my hands off. Gesso is a pain to get off of anything because it's it likes to really stick to things. And this way I don't have to touch it and hold it down because it's in my hand. I'm a speed gessoer. Whoa, did you see that? I'm a speed gesso where I can make things just go, whoo, all right, I'm done, whoo, let's get that out of my hands, just flew out of my hands, it was like, screw you, lady, I'm out of here, you're being rough, the hell away from me, that brush, this is, by the way, my favorite brush, even though the bristles are bent on it, when it, when it's dry, it, the bristles, <laughs> even though I've tried to, like, reshape the bristles, I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I just don't care. It's fine for what I use it for, but it's just funny that the bristles are a little crooked. All right, come on, little grains of whatever in my gesso. I definitely need to make some new gesso. One of these days, I'll get, like, real gesso and actually try some real gesso. 
Like I think somebody said like Liquitex gesso was really good. Someday. I have some, the Prima gesso, but I use that for specific things because it's a thick gesso. Ugh, got clumps in my gesso. But I don't mind making my own. It's kind of nice. It's poor man's gesso, but it works. It does the job. That's all that matters. Let's put this down here so I can wipe my fingers. Yeah, real gesso is pricey, Sandy. That is definitely the truth. Yeah, I treated myself to that Prima stuff when I got my Christmas um, gift cards and stuff to use. I treated myself to the thing of Prima, and it's a heavy body gesso. And I always wanted to try a heavy body gesso, and I obviously can't replicate that at home. Um, I wouldn't know how to replicate that exactly, so I decided to spring for it, and I really love it. But I, I like everything, if I spend money on it, like if it's something that I spend money on, you know, or it's something that's not like homemade or dirt cheap or second hand or whatever, I hoard it because I'm like afraid I'm never going to have it again. So I hoard it. I use it, but I don't use it very often. And that's okay because that's I knew I was going to do that when I bought it. So I'm okay with that. I only bought us, you know, I didn't buy the... It's not like the most expensive stuff in the planet. It's not expensive gesso. I mean, it was like $10. You know, there are like really expensive gessos out there. It was not that. But still, I hoard it. Even $10 gesso. I'll show it to you. Do I have it right here? Yes. Here it is. It's a little tub of heavy gesso. It was like 10 or $12 for this big thing, which I thought was actually really, really good price, actually. And it's nice because it's, <laughs> can't get it open. And look, you'll see, I don't use much, I haven't used very much out of it, but it's nice and heavy. It's It's got a very pasty, so it's good for making texture and stuff like that on your page. If you don't feel like getting out the modeling paste to make texture, you can actually make texture with that. So that's why I wanted it. To give it a try. Try something new. Hi, Janet. Hello, Secret. Hi, Cheryl. Yeah, I think, I think I'm like a lot of people in that aspect, especially when you don't have a lot of money. <laughs> you end up buying things, and if you do get something that's good, you hoard it like crazy. You don't want to use it or waste it. Both of your ears are going nuts. Just that right now. Both of my ears are going nuts. What are you talking about? Your ears are going nuts. I use a bit of baking soda and it makes, I didn't hear, oh, makes it thicker. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I, well, I use um, uh, marble dust to make my gesso. So I can use that to thicken it up, but it wouldn't make it as the only thing is it wouldn't make it the same as like a thick gesso. It would just be like a paste, more like a paste. And that gesso has kind of got a fluffiness to it, which I, which wouldn't happen with some, any of the stuff I have. I don't know. You're going to paint along with me, Secret? Oh, goody, goody. Is Janet working along with us today? And Cheryl? Who's working along with us on their postcards? All right, let me hit these with the heat gun. Well, good Lord, Janet, go back to sleep, woman.
What do you mean using actual paste? What kind of paste? Oh, you mean like paste glue paste would make a heavy gesso. Um, uh, maybe. I mean, maybe. I just, I've always, see, I've been looking for a paste. I bought this a long time ago. This is the super thick tacky glue and it's like a paste and I love it. But I can't find a big thing of like white PVA paste glue. I would love to find some paste glue. And if you know of anywhere I can get like a good sized tub of PVA paste style glue, I would be thrilled because if you can find it, let me know because I can't. I've looked. Yeah, yeah, tacky glue is a little too expensive for what I want to use it for, but, like, I want a PVA, like, a cheaper PVA paste type of glue, but this stuff is a little pricey, that's why I wouldn't use that for something like that, because it's not, it wouldn't be worth it, it would end up costing more, what did I drop, I'm dropping stuff all over the floor, I'm making a mess, alright, now I gotta figure out what paint colors I want to use, to start out with and let's see or do I want to use no I don't think I want to use sprays I like the idea of some paint good old paint yeah PVA glue but in a thick paste form like paste like this where it's literally paste it won't come out just by turning it over do you know what I mean because it's a paste it's almost like as thick as modeling paste but it's just glue. Um, that's what I would like. And let's do some green and yellow for sure. Definitely want to do some green and yellow. Not this. Right here. And we'll do that green and yellow. Maybe a little bit of this green in there. And then I want to do some of this color. Hmm, maybe some of that color. Some of that color. Um, uh, whoopsie. Dropping it on the floor. Get back here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There it is. Back here, you bastard. Some of that color. Some of this color. Let's see. Let's start with those to begin with. I want to do some like this. So we'll do three with those colors. Different blues and greens and yellow. I probably need another yellow. Um, how about that? No, it's the same. I don't have very many yellows to choose from. I don't know why. This one needs to be mixed. It's all separated at the bottom. Hi, Danina. Yeah, you can make your own PVA glue. I've seen that. It's it's a little extensive. It was a little much for me. But were you talking? See, I missed the chat where you could say that you can make your own. Can you make your own paste out of it though? But no, not just PVA glue. I'm wondering if you can make it into paste. Try Yes Glue Paste. I have Yes Glue Paste. That, again, is expensive for what I want to do. Like, I, I want regular PVA paste. I have Yes Paste. And I use that sparingly on certain things that I'm, like, wanting to not have any wrinkles in. I'll use that. Um, and I love it. But, um... 
but what I want is a PVA, which is which means cheap. So a cheap glue that's a paste, so that I can make my own um, thicker gessos with it. Yeah, I'd have to thicken it up, I would think, but I don't know how to thicken it up. That's the thing, and I've experimented too, you know, with thickening thickening it up without using the marble dust to thicken it up, which makes it turn too like chalky. It doesn't to have that paste. I thought the only thing I haven't tried is maybe like a gelatin. I don't know if that would work. Oh, hey, uh, Sandy, if you want to send me something, my address is in the files in the um in the group. But just message me on Facebook, and I'll um. I'm hoping this is not separated anymore. No, it's good. Uh, you could just message me too, either way. But I appreciate it. That's really sweet. Okay, where'd my brush go? Let's get a brush. I don't want that one. I want this one. I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the lightest color. We'll do the yellows. Oh, that's nice. A bunch of crumbs. Do, 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 do. to cover the whole thing I will but I'm not wasting my paint I don't mind I'm just gonna cover over it with another color as long as I don't waste the paint I'm happy all right now we need some of this color a little water do some blending. Water. Water is wonderful. It helps you blend your paints. Dipping my brush in water as I go. All right, we're going to take one card and make it the let's use up the paint card. And then I just want a little bit of this. Nope, not that one. I know, right? I started off with a yellow card, and then I gessoed it like an idiot. I could have just left it yellow, right? <laughs> I didn't know I was going to use this color. I didn't think about it. Until I looked at it and went, yeah, let's do yellow, even though I just covered up the yellow. I'm weird like that. That's okay. The paint goes better on gesso anyway. Let's just add some weird spots. I'm just doing whatever. Yellows are done. You know what I should do? Mm -mm. Let me do something before I go any further. 
I'm like a dummy. I should have done this before. But, you know, my brain don't work. Let me go get something as soon as I clean this up. Hold on one second. I forgot me a drop cloth. This would make a hell of a lot more sense. Don't you oh, usually let me take the glass out from underneath because then it'll sit flat. If I'm doing anything with a lot of paint, I like to do it with the drop cloth because then I could just make a mess and I don't care. I don't have to keep cleaning it, which is a pain in the ass. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. paint one. Yeah, the school paste. Where the hell is that at? Why doesn't that exist anymore? Like, I don't get it. I've, I don't, I can't find it. Maybe it was toxic and they found that out later and they just did away with it. That's the thing. Like, I looked up school paste and there, it doesn't exist. And if it do, and the only thing I found was like, I don't even think it was PVA glue. It wasn't white glue. I don't know what it was. It was just weird. All right, let me dry this. Hi, Emily. Glad you made it. Jane Sills, you found a gallon of what for $11? With a gallon of PVA glue or paste? Let's do some green. I'm thinking this green. This way I can just lay some down here. What's the matter with you? What's the matter for you? What's the matter with this crap? There you go. There we go. Just giving me agita. I don't know if I like this green. I don't know if I like this green. Maybe. Maybe. Just let it mix with the yellow a little bit or something. Meh. Meh. Let's put a blue down. Let's mix it with a blue and see what the hell happens. Get like a weird color. Let's just do that. Over there. 
Get off of there. Get crap all over my little baby wipe. Now I'll need a new wipe. Let's put the rest of this paint on here because I don't like it. It won't go to waste though. Or we can just paint that too. There we go. Do both. There's my rag. Yeah, wallpaper paste maybe. The problem with wallpaper paste and like Sandy said, using spackle, then you're getting into the not so non-toxic um, because those things, you know, you're really not supposed to be using them in a residential type of thing. And plus spackle takes longer to dry a lot of times than, um, than just texture paste, but eh, I, that becomes an iffy thing because of the the whole you know I don't want to die <laughs> the chemical reaction thing Ooh, that's a nice color these target colors are so pretty Nice green. A little bit more. Some more. Because, like, a lot of people, when they spackle, they're really supposed to wear a mask. I mean, a lot of people don't, but they're supposed to. Um, oh, that's a cool recipe. Recipes for glue. Okay, which one is dry? This one looks pretty dry. I make texture paste and what's funny is when I make it with the I make it sometimes with two different things. I make it with the calcium the marble dust, which is what's actually in gesso and uh, texture paste and modeling paste. Marble uh, marble dust is physically that's what they use to put in there. Um, so I buy that and use it. But when I'm making texture paste, if I want it to be a really smooth texture paste, I'll use baby powder. If I want it to be like a little bit more of a coarser, not coarse, but you know, a little bit more textury, I'll use the calcium carbonate or the marble dust. I keep saying calcium carbonate, but it's marble dust is calcium carbonate bleached um, or cooked in the oven until it turns white. But anyway, um, so marble dust you could buy at Dick Blick for like like seven dollars. It's, it's really cheap, and you can add that and make gesso. You can make uh, chalk paint. You can make um, pastes. You can make all kinds of stuff with it. That's what I use. That's what's in my gesso, um, and. Uh, but when I use baby powder to make a texture paste, it's really smooth. Now I could take the marble dust and put it into, I have a grinder thing, like a, well, it's a food processor actually. It's a little one, tiny one. I don't use it for food, so I put my marble dust in there and I grind it and that'll make it smoother. And that's what I'll put in my gessos and stuff. And that will make a smoother paste. But for some reason, baby powder, man, that makes a really nice paste. It makes a really nice paste. Let's use some of this color now. Oh, 
but I really do like <clears throat> marble dust for my gessos and, and everything. That's uh, definitely worth, worth getting because you can use it for so much. Yeah, I'm sure you'll live, Sandy. It's not like, you know, but if you want to, because I, I used to use spackle too years ago because that's what I had access to. So I used a ton of spackle all the time. But then, of course, I was told by one of my, um, uh, one of my friend's dads who, you know, uses spackle. He's like, well, he's like, you might not want to use that all the time. He's like, because if you're using it a lot and, you know, using it in large quantities, using it all the time, he's like, it's not good to be sitting that close to it, smelling it in. He's like, really? He goes, I make my guys use, wear the mask, which is what you're supposed to do when you're using spackle. I'm like, oh, well, crap. <laughs> It was like around, I just used up what I had left and I stopped using spackle at that point. But I used to use spackle all the time. And I probably still would use it if I had some and needed to use it up. Because <laughs> I'm stubborn. This is going to be a, this, this technique makes really pretty baby wipes. Because you get like, if you do a couple colors, look how pretty that is. So I'll put that aside. So I don't know what I'm doing really. I just started doing whatever. So paper mache paste. Yes, you can use paper mache paste. Um, oh, you mean pa paper mache paste. You mean when you powder that you mix and make into a paper mache? Uh, you can use that for texture paste, yeah. But it dry like you only make up what you need. So like the tech, if you use paper mache paste, what do you? What am I thinking of? Am I thinking? I'm thinking of plaster of Paris. I think paper mache paste. I thought paper mache paste was just watered down glue. I don't know. I'm not sure. Is it something different where you live? I th are you talking about plaster of Paris or are you looking talking about something else? I'm confused. Yeah, if you're using a lot, well, yeah, wear, wear, wear a mask for sure. You'll be okay if you wear a mask. Yeah, it kind of does look like these weird green clouds. Let's add a little bit of this color, even though I was really just going to use it as cleanup. Well, let's just add some color to it. Let's just be all weird and make an abstract postcard. There we go. Cleaning the brush. Let's see. I'm going to add some more texture on these. I'm going to dry them though, real quick. Yeah, I have the Elmer's Art Paste. Um, it's a powder. It doesn't thicken anything. Like Secret used it. I haven't used it yet, but Secret used it. And the Elmer's Art Paste, like, let me show you. Where did I go with it? 
this stuff. Is this what you're talking about? The art paste? Yeah, this stuff here is supposed to be mixed in a jug. There's not a lot here. And you're supposed to mix it in with like a gallon of water. It doesn't thicken at all. Um, it's, I don't understand, right? It doesn't really get thick. It doesn't, it's like very liquidy when you mix it in with your paint and stuff. I'm not sure this would thicken gesso and it would be since it's, you, you know, it's such a small amount and it's like $4. I don't think I would waste it on thickening gesso because it might just be, I mean, who knows this, I wonder what this is because this might be uh, marble dust. Who knows? Um, yeah, 3.8 liters of cold water and stir for two minutes. You uh, store unused paste in an airtight container, blah, blah, blah. And you mix it with paint, but it doesn't make anything thicker. I'm trying, I wonder what this is made of. If I could open it without ripping the bag, I bet you it might be. If it does, it might have like a, I don't know. I don't know what it's made of, but I've, uh, yeah, because you can make um, paste paper, which I've done. Um, I, I did a video on it, but I don't know what happened to it because um, we couldn't find it, right, Seeker? Is that the video we couldn't find um, that I did? But I have a whole stack of papers that I made paste paper with, but I didn't use this stuff. I just use, you can use, um, PVA, watered down PVA glue, and that'll make paste paper as well. But I got this to try, um, and I haven't done it yet. It's, I've been waiting for, to, waiting to try it, and then Secret had gotten it, and she had already tried it. But I don't know where she is. Oh, yeah, you used it. Is it? It's like jelly. So it, it is thicker. It thickens up. It actually thickened up the when you put it in the, with the water. It actually got thicker, the water or cornstarch as a thickener. Yeah, you can use cornstarch as a thickener. However, again, cornstarch makes everything very dense and not fluffy, so it's not really pasty. It turns into like um, thick, very very thick. No, so it didn't make it thick thick like real thick. That's I didn't think so. Um it, cuz it's kind of watery. But it I don't know. It's like jelly. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you Yeah, I guess if you like mixed a very small amount of water with it, it would make a paste, but I don't know. I don't know. Because like paste most of the time is like fluffy. It's not like really really heavy and dense, and that's what would happen if you use baby powder marble dust, cornstarch, baking soda, any of those is going to make a very dense paste. But I'm thinking like something like gelatin, which if they use gelatin would make a very, um, a lot fluffier of a paste. Hi, Angela. I'm sorry you're still not feeling good. Yeah, if you did the paper mache, you just use glue and water. Yeah, plaster of Paris will thicken it, but that also dries like that. You got to use it or lose it, basically, with plaster of Paris. Um, anyway, what was I doing? Forgot what I was going to add now. I was going to stencil. I think I was going to get a stencil out. I think. I don't remember. Let me see what I got. Airy, yeah, yeah, that's the word for it. So let's see. I want to use let's try 
some white paint. Let's see how gloppy this paint is. I don't know why these Apple Barn paints seem to get kind of gloppy on me. They don't like me. That one came out pretty. So who is working alongside of me doing their postcards or doing any kind of crafting, really? If you're not doing postcards, what are you doing? Let's do all three of those like so. Same, so I'm moving them around on the stencil a little bit. And out of white paint. for a second. stencils that's a pain in the butt to clean because it's got a lot of little raised bits. spray alcohol on it. I did though. I need to spray water. I grabbed the alcohol bottle. Duh.
Oh, All right. I got that clean enough. It's been clean enough. That's okay. Yeah, I've got cool stencils because of deco arts. That's why I've got cool stencils. I get them. Through, I got them through them through their helping artist program. Ah, come on. I try to keep them all in their package as long as I possibly can. But it can be a test to the nerves to get them in and out of their packages. But I do the best I can. <laughs> Alrighty, now we've got these three. These three done. Let's hit them with the heat gun a little bit. Deb says she is painting junk papers for collage. Very cool. Uh-oh, what happened to my mouse? The mouse hates me. It's like freezing up. Come on, mouse. Stop it. Like, literally, my mouse is frozen. There we go. Oh, pain in the butt. I think it needs a new battery, is what I think. My mouse. Knocking it over. Knocking all the paint over. Hmm, now what? Now... Maybe when they're like really dry, I can outline some of the flowers on here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't, I'm not big on outlining things. Sometimes I'll sit and do it, but to me it takes a long time to sit and do. Hmm. Maybe I will ink the edges, and these can be used as my overseas ones, since uh, they're real pretty the way they are. I might um, put something else on them, though, of course. Maybe I'll collage something on them. could do that. collage onto it without it being too thick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's a maybe. That's a maybe. Let's find something different. What's that? <gasps> oh, that's too big though. That one would go better on that one. I think I'm going to save that one for a pink one. Yeah, I'm going to send them, you know, in the mail with address on the back type of thing. on there. I don't know. I don't know if I like that on there. I like that. I might like this better. No. I don't know. That's too red. That might go good on something pink. No. I won't be able to put that on there. Would be cute. I wish that wasn't that's quite big. I wish I had it smaller. I could print it out in a smaller thing. That was something I printed out. Well, I printed out all of these, I believe, except for some of them were given to me. Too small. Too small. Actually, this was given to me in Happy Mail. But I don't know. Yeah. I don't like that one. I do like this one. I'm just going to cut it down on the sides a little bit. And then I do like this on here with a little tape on the back. Would be nice. Let's find something for this one. Um, hmm. What shall I find? Let's see. Let me look in here. Hmm. I could fussy cut those out, but that would be so big on there. I don't think I'm going to bother. Blam, 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 blam. I can just put Tigger on it. <laughs> Picture of Tigger. Most of these are vintage photos. They're not going to look right on these. Yeah, they won't look good. They're vintage. Vintage does not is not going to look as good over top of those. Hmm. I have other things, obviously, underneath of my desk. But it's the matter of getting them out. Let's see. Let me see what I can find under here. Yeah. Look and see what's on them. Oh, maybe I can use the mermaid. See, I have like mermaid graphics. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's go with this one. The colors aren't right though. Hmm, let me keep looking. Sorry guys. Give me a moment. Well, I don't want 
digging under here. It's like digging in a, in a dark garage underneath there. I have no light. I can't see what the hell I'm looking at. <laughs> I don't know why I have things under there. I don't know. Just because I ain't got nowhere else to put it. I'm trying to find some sort of graphic. No, it doesn't look like I'm going to find anything in any timely manner, which is going to make everything a pain in the ass. Come on. Good lord. Whew. Can't wait till I move. Can't wait to move. <laughs> Hold on. Let me grab one more thing. Where I can look in. Oh, come on. Come on. Looking like. like walking through a war zone. Okay, let's see what I got in this little pocket. I have this little file folder of printouts. Let's see what's in here. Maybe there'll be something I can use. No. Nope. I don't need a pattern. I need like a, a picture or something cute. Something cute! Yes, Jane. Yes, ma'am. I see you. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty. I want to use that on a pink one. I'm going to hold on to that. So I'm going to do some pink postcards, too. Dang it. Why don't I have anything the right color in here? don't want to make them, send them without something on them. Yes, I already answered that question, Jane. Yes, I will just put the address on it with a stamp address and a little, little note. I mean, I'm not, on these, yes, but on ones that I'm going to put embellishments that are thicker, I'll put them in an envelope, but these are flat. These are going to be flat. They're not going to be embellishments. If they're going to have embellishments on them, then you, you can't send them that way. You have to put them in an envelope and bring them physically to the post office. But if you're going to leave them flat, then you can. I've got several of these things. Because every time, what I used to do is I would print out, like I said, when, I, when my print, other printer was working really good, I would print out graphics nonstop and I would sit there and cut them all out. And so I ended up with loads of things, which luckily, you know, and I still have loads of things to print out. Here we go. Look at that. I can put it in the center like that or like that. That's really cute. I found something. I found it. I knew I'd find something. I just I knew I had to have something convenient without having to print something else out or hunt something else down. I was gonna say, I mean, out of all the crap that I've printed out, I had to have something. <laughs> Actually, this one would go better. Well, maybe not. Maybe it won't fit. Maybe it will. Mm. No. And that one's a little small, but let's see. It's okay. I forgive you, Jane. 
Pay attention next time, lady, or I'll cut your fingers off. <laughs> oh, that one's nice. That one's actually better than that one. This one's a little small. So let's put that back in here. I'm going to cut her fingers off. Okay, so that one would look good on there. Actually, this one would look better on here, maybe. What do you think? And that one would look better on here. Find a little graphic to go right there. Oh, that one's cute, but obviously that will not go there. And that one's the wrong way. Let's see. Where's the little graphics? Mm, that's pretty. <gasps> that would go even prettier than that one. The couch. Oh, I like that one better. I like that pop of red in there. I like it better. <laughs> Too big. See, if that wasn't so big, that would be cute. It's going to hang off. But I really want that there. Do I have something smaller? Come on. Sorry you guys are having to wait while I dig through my crap. I apologize for making you wait. I'm sure you don't care to see me digging through my crap. Alright, so I pretty much found one for all. I like this one on here. I like the way the red looks. I like this one here. I'm going to cut that one down. Now I just need to find something small there. And close this. This thing is so full that I have to like shove it closed because... I made them. I should have never cut them all out like that. I should have left them in a stack in a folder. That would have made more sense, I think. This little one should have littler things in it. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. I should be able to find something in here for that one. Let's see. Let's find something little. Let's find something. No, oh, that's too dark. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a goddess. That would look nice. I bet you I could do that. Yeah, that looks good. I knew I'd find the perfect thing. It just took forever. But now I have them all at my fingertips. So if I have to look again, I have this right here. I have the other two envelopes right there. So I won't have to dig them out. All right, let's start with this one. This needs to be cut. Let's cut off as much as we can on this one so that it doesn't look too big. We're going to make this one. Let's see how it looks now. More like this. A little bit off the sides. I don't want to cover up all the background. There we go. Look at that. Perfect size. Doesn't cover up all the background and it still see all the colors in it. Good deal. This one I need to cut with scissors. Scissors. Oh, thanks, Deb. I'm glad you like it. I feel like I'm boring people, so I try to rush because I don't want to make people sit. Oh, I forgot that this was on glossy cards or photo paper. It's hard to cut. Ugh. I don't think my cutter is going to like cutting this. I just need to cut a little tiny smidgen off of the side of this sucker. 
not much. I don't think this cutter, I'm going to have to break break out the big Mamba Jamba cutter for this job. Maybe. No, maybe not. Maybe I got it. I think I got it. Mm. Feels like, is this shrink plastic? Oh, wait a minute. Is this shrink plastic? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to see if it's shrink plastic. If it is, then we're going to have to shrink it. I don't know if this is photo paper. I think it's shrink plastic. If it's shrink plastic, then I'm going to shrink it. <laughs> nah, I'll leave it like this. It's 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 probably is shrink plastic, but it's still thin enough. If cuz when I was cutting it, I was like this this feels like shrink plastic for sure, cuz if I shrink this down, it might be too small anyway. Maybe not. I'm tempted to shrink it down and use something else. <laughs> But that looks so good on there, I don't want to. I don't wanna. You can't make me. Alright, where's my tape? There's that tape. Where's my other tape? Now it's gonna be a mad search for my tape. What'd you do with it, Jane? It's all her fault. I give Jane a lot of shit all the time. Excuse the French. Alright, where is it? Where did I get it? Am I losing my mind? Let me see if I can find it over here. Here we are. Here we are. Here we go. I found it. I found it. Sorry I'm not following the chat very well. Okay. So, let's start with this sucker. The easiest way for me to do it is stick my arm through it. And hold on to it like that. You're going to see the tape line behind... Excuse me, I'm burping. But that's okay because I have to make sure it's taped down well. Or else if it goes through the post thing, it's going to get ripped. So, if it has a little tape line on the back, oh well. I can't risk it coming off the thing and getting lost or ripping off or not getting to the destination because of it. Because I think this is shrink plastic. I'm going to put tape on this, too, because I don't know how well that will glue. Well, whoever gets this postcard can uh, take this picture off and shrink it. Not with the tape on the back, probably not, but <laughs> they could, technically, if they're able to get the tape off and all the power to them. Yes, we are night owls. I'm a night owl. I don't create during the day generally. A lot of times I'm sleeping during the day. Well, early in the day. I'm the most productive at night. <laughs> Secret goes, send it to here, I'll shrink it. Or send it to Jen and she'll shrink it. Oh, why'd I take it off of there without taking this off first? Duh. I'm a dingbat. Trying to take all the little tape ends off. Let's see, you little sucker. Get over here. Get over here. Okay. You can't really see the tape, actually. Whoa! <laughs> Flying postcards! Hmm. Before I put that down, I'm going to go over this slightly white edge with 
some ink because it's driving me nuts. Yes, I know Janet and, and Secret both like the goddesses like I do. There we go. And it's still flat enough to send through the post. And it's really cute. Odd that this is a proverb and that's a goddess? Hey, mix it up. Why not? Why the hell not? So this, we will use glue. I will use tacky glue. But first, I'm going to ink the edges of this. And I'm actually just going to use the teal to kind of bring it all together. Why not? There we go. And we'll do the teal on this one. This is one of my favorites. I've printed out so many of these over the past few years. I love this one. Thanks, Sandy. Now we will use, because it's cheaper to use aliens than it is to use score tape. As much as I, I get the I get this score tape from China and I get like five rolls for like a couple dollars. So I'm not worried about wasting it that much, but you know. But I like to glue. I don't know. It's relaxing for me to glue. Tape is okay, but I just like the feeling of things being glued. I don't know why. I'm a glue addict, I think, or something. I don't know what the deal is. But I love glue. Glue and paint. I love the feeling of putting things together with the wet glue. Anybody else like that or is it just me? Like I'm all I'm great. Tape is awesome. It's fun. I get more satisfaction out of taking the glue and putting it on and squishing it down. Is that just am I the only weirdo that that's like that? Because I know so many people that are like, oh, I don't like to use glue, so I only use score tape and a glue stick. And I'm just like, screw it. Hand me the glue bottle. Let me get glue all over me. I just love glue. Something about this this process right here of taking it out of the nozzle and wiggling it around and going like that, picking it up and saying, splat. Seriously, what is with that? Why do I like that so much? <laughs> Such a weird thing to like. So here is this one, and I might put a little stickles on there. Yeah, see, you guys agree, glue is better. Who's going to cut my fingers now? Angela. <laughs> ah, that's funny. And I love Aileen's tacky glue, that stuff's the best. But I've used Elmer's before, just put Elmer's and, you know, no big deal. You use whatever you got. It'll work, it'll stick, it's paper. Elmer's glue is meant to stick wood down, so it's certainly going to stick my little papers down. So these are pretty much done. I might put some stickles on these. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put some stickles. Let's see. I've got this here. We can do some stickles on the little arrows. Keeping it very flat. I'm kind of rubbing it around with the... Rubbing it around with my tip of the glue bottle so that I don't wind up with it too thick on there. Let's do... I'm going to do this one. What do I want to do? Mm, maybe. Let me see if I have a different color. Is it the same color? Yep, that's the same color. Ooh, I know. Where's my clear one that I love? This one. The Stardust stuff. It's so awesome. Let's just do the whole goddess in this. That would look pretty. I made some goddess dolls last year, um, and I, I want to make some more because they came out so stinking cute. Oh, 
Pegasus, my little dragon flying, and the little sun. This is one of my favorite images. Oh, pretty. It's all sparkly pretty. Yeah. So pretty. Yeah, you can you Elmer's glue is wood glue. You can use that. Who says you can't? You can use whatever you want. Let's see. I might. That's not the right color. That's not the right color. This red is too dark. Hmm, I don't have the right kind of red for this. It's like a corally red, so maybe I'll just use this again because it is my favorite stickles. This and the teal and the pink and the oh and the gold. That um that one gold one, uh what the heck's it called? The ant is it antique or something? I don't know. But those are my four favorite stickles. My favorite clear used to be that that fabric glue clear stuff that was uh, that used to be my favorite, and then I discovered this stuff. Where is it? This stuff, the scribbles glittering crystal. This shit, the best, the best. This stuff is awesome. Like I'll do it on the stamp, but see it. It starts out like whitish and then it dries. Like and it just looks so pretty. But it starts out like a white color, so you're not gonna be able to see it until it's dry. But that stuff's awesome. It's awesome. Top right corner with the bird on it. Oh, it's just another graphic that I'm gonna use on probably the next one that I do. I wanna use this one. Hmm, let's see, what else should I do? Hmm. <laughs> let's do the inside of the butterfly. Because I can. Very nice. Very nice. What is that called? What is what called? This? Oh, I think that's a peacock. I think it's supposed to be like a peacock of some sort, but I don't really know. I think so. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a peacock. Alrighty. There's our... They've got stickles on them, so i got to be careful. But there's our postcards. Holy shit. Janet, you silly lady. Thank you. Janet just gave me a super chat. She's a super freak. But anyway. Thank you, Janet. Alright, now I'm trying to figure out where to put these so that they can dry without me touching them or getting them all messy. I'm going to move them over there. Let's put them there. Okay, now we are going to get three more cards. Yes, it is, Dana. <laughs> this time I want to do pinks and oranges. Or whatever's in here, actually. Maybe I'll do one with pink and orange and the other one with pink and purple. Because I definitely want to use this. So that's for sure. Haha, <laughs> your funny secret. <laughs> I'll sing whatever Janet wants me to sing. Because that's how it is. If you, as long as you give $5, I will sing. <laughs> so, I forgot all about that. Alright, I will sing. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. <laughs> uh, but it's up to Janet. She has to pick the song. I'm going to get some paint. And she's got, she'll pick a song, she, and I'll sing whatever she wants me to sing. Uh, let's see. Paint. That's probably going to be too bright. 
Let me see what colors are in here. No, well, that's not too bright, actually. It's in the right color family. I like that one a little better. Let's see. Pink and... Ow! I just smacked my hand. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> uh, what else? Pink. Orange. What about a lavender? Where is my lavender? Hold on. Let me see, what's this? There's a purple. And here is a lavender. And then we need some. What do I want to do? Orange and pink. I got that. Pink and purple. I got that. I think that's it. Janet, did you pick a song? All right. Then uh, if you can't pick a song, then assign somebody else to pick one. Like you can assign anybody you want to pick a song. Oh, that's great. These scissors suck. Mess up my stuff. Stupid scissors that suck. Wow, these scissors are awful. And these used to be my best scissors, too. The day the music died. I don't even know that song. Oh, is that the one? My, my, Miss American Pie? Okay. Is that what that song is? Is that the same song? American Pie? The only problem is I don't know the lyrics very well, even though I've seen it's James Taylor, right? Because I've seen him in concert. He, well, not, not full concert, but he was playing with, he came out and played a few songs with Garth Brooks. Let me see if I can... Uh, Okay, I'll sing some of it because I don't really know it that well. Um, I'll just sing the um, the chorus because I. Uh, yeah, I'll just sing the chorus so I don't get in trouble. Bye bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye, singing, this'll be the day that I die. This'll be the day that I die. And then, while well, the beginning goes, a long, long time ago, I can still remember how that music used to, ah, uh, shoot, I don't remember how the beginning goes, that music used to make me smile. And I knew if I had my chance that I could make those people dance. And maybe they'd be happy for a while. I think that's kind of how it goes. But February made me shiver. With every paper I deliver. Bad news on the doorstep. I couldn't take one more step. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's all I know of the song. But <laughs> I tried. That's all I know. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Now watch. YouTube will take my channel down. Because I sang a song pretty badly. I better move that out of the way or I'm going to get paint all over it. Alright. Let's do some painting in this place. That's what we are doing. 
at some point today. <laughs> You're pulling out the yes paste, Lynn? <laughs> she means business. She's pulling out the yes paste. That ain't no joke. She ain't screwing around. She means business. I'm just going to paint the whole thing purple. And then I'm going to add some texture with the other colors. See, I leave my fingerprints. Oh, I forgot to take that screen end down so I can see what I'm doing. All right, good enough. Now we'll add some of this in here. color of embossing powder on it. Ooh, nice. I don't have that color embossing powder. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I need some good color embossing powders. I have a lot of dark, weird colors. I mix colors. You can mix your embossing powder to make different colors. That's always fun to do. keep getting big fingerprints on my thing. And add just a little more. Just a drop. different pink picked out. Maybe not. I want to grab this one. This little, actually I might use that to yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's use some of that on here as texture. Well, actually I'm all over the place. Let me do this first. Do this one first. Ooh, and neon ones. Ooh, I'm not. I've never seen neon embossing paste powder before. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Now I'm going to put some orange. And I want to make sure I have pink to mix right in with it. What's wrong with my brush? I don't know if it's my brush or my paint. like this pink with it. Let's see if I have a different pink. Maybe this one. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know.
kind of like that. Kind of like it. I kind of dig it. I know. Let's do. Let's try adding some yellow down here. There we go. I kind of did like a from pink to orange to yellow, from yellow to orange to pink kind of thing. A little water. I don't know what I'm doing. Just messing around. Just messing around. I'm out of the loop. I don't know what's going on in the chat. Receive my postcard. Awesome! Yay! I'm scrolling back a little bit. I'm sorry to hear about things with your daughter, Kelly. That sucks. Hope you're not lonely hanging out with us. We'll get you not lonely. You can have us. Alright, let's dry these.
Hmm. Alrighty. Probably use this one for this, but I'm going to put some more stuck on here. Oh, my leg is falling asleep. Wake up! Wake up, leg! I'm not allowed to sleep yet. texture block. It's a piece of wood with some canvas on one side and burlap on another. There's a video going up tonight about that um, for you to watch. I didn't get a chance to get it uploaded, but it's all done and edited. I just got to upload it. As soon as I'm done here, I will upload it. Um, but yeah, it'll show you how to do all that stuff with the with the textures, different textures and such. I don't know if this paper can handle a lot of wetness. I don't know why I just did that on there. Oh, I want to use the burlap side. cool texture on it. That'll look good. <laughs> Lynn is fussy cutting food out. What are you doing? Out of a magazine or something? that one. I don't want to change that one too much or add anything over it because I like the paint the way it's all. It doesn't look as good on video as it does in person, but maybe I'll do something. Let me think. Maybe I'll do, ooh, maybe I'll do splatters on that one. Maybe I'll just do pink splatters on this one. Where is, there we go. I move stuff around so I'm can't find things when I need them. Let's do the this pink here. Where's my thing? Here it is. go. Splatters.
Hi, Quacky. You gotta send them out by June 10th. That one's done, that one's done. Where's the other one? There's the other one. We're not done with you yet. We're going to get a stencil for you. You're getting a stencil. Whether you like it or not. smart and I cut off the plastic the last time I used this one. This one is such a pain in the butt to clean. Oh, but it's so awesome. <laughs> it's awesome, but it's a pain in the ass to clean. But it's awesome. But it's also a pain in the ass to clean. But it's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's put some of this paint down. Come on. I'm going to water you down a little bit and then we want some a little of this blue color down. That would be pretty. Okay. Maybe another sponge. Let's just grab this one here. Actually, I'll do two different sponges since I'm using two different colors. It lifts up, which is always very annoying. <laughs> Quit being annoying, stencil. Let's switch to this one. This one's really going to lift up. This paint's stickier. Goodness. This is not the stencil you want to use when you're doing it like this. You definitely want to use a spray or something through these stencils. Because it's got all these little things that just lift up. They're not stuck to anything. I love this stencil. I love swirls. But and I need a little water in that paint because it's way too thick. I find that about the... Um, the folk art paints, they're just way too thick. Good enough. Frustrating stencil. But that looks really cool. Frustrating stencil, but awesome results. Can't bitch about the results. 
and it's a pain to clean, like, seriously. Like, I may not even try to clean it very much, because, yep, it's one of those. That you literally have to hold down every little piece. about all we're going to get clean on this one. Just a couple of the stencils that I have are just impossible because of everything like, look, can you see it from the side where it all just pops out? So trying to clean that, all it wants to do is lift up. But it's such a pretty stencil. I love this stencil. Love it. If I really want to clean it, I could just soak it in some water, but I'm not worried about this one. If I can't clean every single stencil perfectly, oh well. I'll live. I just try to. Because I know that after a while, when you're using a stencil that's not clean, it's got a lot of paint on it, after a while the paint starts to flake off on whatever you're doing. And, oh yeah, I remember this wasn't easy to get back in the package either. And so I don't like to leave paint on it because eventually the paint... Um, Eventually the paint will start coming off onto your project and making it making you have little paint flakes flakes on things and maybe you don't intend them to. Intend to have paint flakes on things. Yeah, but see, I can't take a magic eraser to that stencil. I couldn't even take a gentle baby wipe to that stencil. That's what I mean. Like, I wouldn't. And plus, you don't want to use a magic eraser on your stencils unless you absolutely have no choice. Because what a magic eraser is, is sandpaper. That's what a magic eraser is. It's a very fine grit sandpaper. You don't want to use that on your plastic stencils because what's going to happen is over time, it's going to wear off the coating on the stencil that keep, that's smooth. And it's going to make it rough. And then, then, then it's going to be even harder to get the paint off of it. So you don't want to use magic eraser on stuff like that. Because it will take the smooth finish off of it. And believe me, I know a lot about magic erasers. Because I had a cleaning business for almost 20 years. I knew all the things that you should and shouldn't use magic erasers on. <laughs> I love magic erasers. They are, like a, they are like my saving grace when I'm cleaning houses. But I wouldn't use them on my stencils. Not unless I really had to because something was on it or something like that. Only because stencils are so thin and you don't want them to be harder to clean in the future by roughing up the edge, the, the roughing it, roughing them up at all. That came out really super cool though. Alrighty, now we've got three beautiful cards. I think they came out really cool. So let's see which one we should put this on. Let's start with that. Put it on that one. Put it on, I don't know, I like it on that one. Ooh, I like it on that one too. Why do I like it on that one so much? I really like it on this one because I think because there's a little bit of orange in here and it's just popping. I don't know. This is a hard call. I like it on this one too. I don't know. Well, I process of elimination. Let me just find two more or three more things to pull out and see what looks best on what. That's the best way to do it. That's what, how I usually do things. Like I've got, you know, things like that. I've got like this Eiffel Tower that could go on there. But I kind of want something a little more graphic-y than that. Let's see what else I got. Let's see what else. What else do I got? got a bunch of junk in here. I got a lot of pink stuff, so I know I can definitely do some pink. Mm, that's a little too... These are more contemporary, not so much old, old-timey. Unless it's the right old-timey thing. Ooh, that would be cool to have a card and use that. And these aren't the right ones for that, but 
the G love E. Alright, let's start with this one. <gasps> Ooh, that looks nice on there, big time. Alright, let's just hold our horses and see what else they pull out. It's coming too. It's not too small. Got a shoe. I got it on the orange paper. I agree, but I want to make sure that I don't have something else better. I agree. I think I like the orange because it has a little orange in it. But I just want to make sure. Just making sure first. Oh. I don't like that. Let's see. No. Eh, I don't really like that one that much. <gasps> mm, that one. No, on this one. That one's perfect. A little cupcake. Perfect. This one I'm debating still. Let me see what else I got. No. Oh, but that would have looked, nah, not really, actually. Still debating on that one. Let me just look some more. Let's just look a little more. Let's see. Um, let me see. Bigger one down here. French cupcakes? Yeah, I'd take any cupcake right now. <laughs> yeah, that one's probably going on that one. I just wanted to make sure that I had, because I have this one for here, but I'm not sure I want to do this one yet, because I may have to fussy cut that, and I'm not sure I want to fussy cut. So I might find something different for there, so let's just put that up here for a second. No, not that one. No, I still like the cupcake one better. Let's see. Let's see if we have anything that's teal and purple. That would be cute if I had another one or a different one that's wider. I could always do like a collage. Mm, it's too small. Mm, me. I'm picky. I'm picky. It's got to look just right. I'm a picky bitch. Oh, you know what would look? Not on this, probably. But I do have two of those. No, not on that. But, I do have two of those. I have two of a few things. <laughs> That'd be cute if it was just a little bigger. <laughs> yeah, well, that's bigger. Didn't I say that would be cute if it was bigger and I found a bigger one? Now I'm not liking it as much. <laughs> uh, let me put that there for a second. Let me see what else I have. Ooh, I like that better. I don't know. Yet. Picky. I'm picky. Pickiest bitch in town. <laughs> I don't have anything with like lavender or purple or anything. Nope. I'm trying to find something with a touch of lavender or something. It's not too, like, tag. I don't really want to tag. Which flower print? This one or the, the one with the butterflies? They would, but, like, you're seeing it through the camera, so it, it, the color is slightly different than what you're seeing. So it's not exactly 
the same. So it looks a little different. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Almost. Let's see, let me look over here. Ooh, what's that? That might be something. No. I can't see enough in the background. And it's too... It, this is too contemporary. It's not as much old-fashioned as I'm pulling out. If it's something small, I can get away with it. But if it's too big, it'll look funny now. I don't want that. But I don't think I have anything else contemporary to fit on there. That's kind of contemporary. That would fit better than the others. It's got a little purple in it, kind of. Let me put that over there. See, that's kind of, I can kind of get away with that one. As long as it's not too old timey. And that's not got a picture on it. Ooh, not that. No. Alright, maybe I don't have something to go in there. <laughs> I have tags. Which. I could always use a tag. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing with purple, huh? A little touch of purple? Nothing? You gotta be kidding. Nothing with a little purple? Come on now. It's so big. It's taking over the background. It's got a little purple in it, but it's so damn big. Ugh. Such a dilemma to have, isn't it? Glad this is my only dilemma for the night. Kind of looks nice. One of these would look nice. See, I could probably get away with something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not. Nothing is jumping out at me. But like this has got a touch of purple in it right there, running through it. But it's still, I don't know. Well, the peacock is going to go on this one. Unless I can't find anything. To, well, I'm, I do have this one, but I'd have to fussy cut that one. I don't know. Or I could put the peacock on here. And then it becomes an easier dilemma because I could fit, put anything on here. Would look nice, pretty much. I think I could put that on there and that would look nice. You know what I mean? That might be what I do, because just for the sake of frustration. Because I'll have a lot more options with this card. That's what I'm going to do. See, like, even this one would take this well. Take that one well, or but I do like this one, because it's got all the colors in it, kind of. Alright, that's going to solve that problem. We're just going to do that. Otherwise, we're going to be here all day. All day and night. I guess I'm making all six of these to go overseas because I'm keeping them kind of flat, I guess. Because I worked so hard on the background that I don't want to cover it up too, too much. But hmm, I don't know. I like it. Let's see. We've got, let's put some purple around here. Hello, anybody new that came in? Definitely gonna put purple around this. Welcome to the Friday night pajama party. Um, this thing. Let's do some. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I've got. Mm, not sure if that'll show up. Looks like a coral color somewhere in here. There it is. That color should look nice. Ugh. 
There we go, because it's a little sparkly, which I love. Sparkly. All right. Now you can glue them. I do with my glue. I'm going to start with this one because that one, the ink might not be dry yet. Hi, Linda. How are you? Hmm. There we go. That looks pretty. Got all the colors in it. There we go. That's pretty. Pretty, pretty. So where's everybody from? I know where a lot of you are from. I know where a lot of the regulars are from. But some of the new guys, new guys and gals, I don't know where you're from. everything nice and smooth like this will help get everything nice and smooth like that's from Janet You're from New Zealand, Donna? Awesome. Claxi's from Massachusetts. Well, how come I don't get to see Fright Night? <laughs> Where are you? Ah, now we can outline these guys, which I will do this one in the teal. What's funny is there's not even teal or blue in this, but it for some reason it goes. I don't know. That's okay. It works out. my other pink so I'll see if this one will work. The pad on it is really crappy.
There we go. Alrighty. We got those three going. And then the other three are still drying. Their stickles are probably still a little wet. Yeah, a little bit. Not too much. A little bit. Got some pretties. Hmm. Yeah, I think they look really nice. Are they dry? Oh yeah, they're dry, I guess. Right? Yeah, they're dry. Right? Yeah, even that one's dry. Dry. So I'll show you them all close up. If this thing will focus. There's that one. And that one. Stupid thing doesn't focus, so sorry. Just focuses and then goes out of focus, like as if, eh, you don't need to see. <laughs> Stupid. Like, there's nothing else to see but this, but it won't focus on it. And then it'll focus for a second. And there it goes, out of focus. <laughs> ah, hate this camera. There's the peacock one that everybody likes. I'll put some uh, stickles on these in a little bit. I'm not going to do it right now. Oh, focus and unfocus. Okay. I do have... Um, uh, where'd they go? A couple more postcards that are not finished, but they have backgrounds on them. Some of these are like glossy cardstock, like these three were glossy. And then there's some ones that are painted that I did a long time ago. So I might, like this one here was just like a cleanup. It's on a piece of chipboard or whatever. So I might add some more stuff to that. And these really just need to be decorated because they've got backgrounds on them that are pretty cool. Most of these are pretty cool. But I definitely want to try this one because it still needs a little something. So let's try that one. Let's see, is there any paint left? No. It's going to harden on there. I should, should have got those in the water quicker. Stupid me. Let's get those cleaned up. I started. All right, anyway. You see a pink poodle in this one? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> you guys is crazy. Oh, I know. I haven't really used any metallics, so we'll have to use some metallics. And maybe we'll do some finger painting. Um, we'll just do some
Sorry, did I ruin the poodle that you saw? I ruined it. If I knew how to draw, I would draw it out, but I didn't know how to draw. I don't know how to draw. My sad attempts at drawing the poodle is like insane. It looks so stupid. I can't draw. I can't draw a lick. Who's not listening? Me? I don't listen to Secret. I don't have to listen to her or anybody. No, what'd she say? What did I miss? What did I miss? Yes, Janet. What did I miss? What did I do now? Ding dong. Ding dong, lady. What did I miss? Oh, for crying out loud. What am I? What? You people. I, my mouse is not working for some reason, which means I can't scroll. My mouse battery died, I think. And somebody said they saw a pink Elvis. And another person said my name. And now I don't know what. Mm -hmm. The camera is not a good one, Stacy. But which camera is a good one? Danina Dixon, beautiful all. Does Danina want to know? I'm confused. I don't know which camera is a good one. I'd have to research that. Who wants to know, Danina or Janet? I'm confused because it said Danina afterwards. Oh, which camera is it? I don't know, honestly. I'd have to research that for you and let you come back to you on that one. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't get this one if you want to make videos or what or stream live anyway. That looks cool. Yeah, I'll have to look into that further and see which one is the is a better one. I like the way it's shiny. It's so metallic. It's pretty. Let's see. And when that dries, I'll help dry it. Let's see. I'm going to stencil over it, I think. With something non metallic. Put a scratch in it by accident, but that's okay. Wait, did I miss something else now? You gotta talk in all caps if you're talking to me, because otherwise I can't see, pick out what is going on. No, I can't pick out what's going on. I don't know what's going on. It's so pretty. All right, I'm trying to think of what I want to put over top of it. Thinking that maybe some of this texture stuff, I might put some of this texture over it. Boobies as blending tools. Why are we using boobies as blending tools? My boobies would not be a good blending tool. My boobies would just be a destruction tool, like a wrecking ball. Two wrecking balls. There ain't nothing blending going on here. Just destroying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's 
see. I need a stencil. Let me get a stencil. And I'll be right back. I'm actually I'm gonna go grab a drink because my glass is empty. I'll be right back. Ticker is sleeping. Let me get a stencil. Get a stencil. Yeah. Uh -huh. That was rough. Okay. This is another stencil that doesn't like me, but I like it. Actually, this one's not hard to clean. That's good. Let's see. Let's do it up here in the corner where there's some smaller. I'm going to, I'm going to go insane. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to put some of this iridescent paste. Do I want to put white? I think I do want to put white. I have white. And I have this color. And I have blue. And I have... Alright, you guys choose. Texture paste wise. Should I use this like gunmetal metallic, this blue metallic, pink metallic, or the white metallic? It's like a pearl color on this. You choose white, blue, gray, or pink. Ready, go. Talk amongst yourselves. Tell me which one you think. I'll use whatever the majority says I should use. White, 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 white. I see a lot of white. Orange. Smart ass secret. All right, let's just go with white. Let's go with white. These came in a happy mail. I really like them too. They're groovy. Okay, paint, get out of my way. Get the hell out of my way. And I'm going to be sparing with how much I pull out of the bottle initially because unlike paste that's in a uh, container, I can't get these back in. So, 
much. We're going to be very, very careful not to waste it. It smells unpleasant. What if I did two colors? What if I did the blue kind of going up into the white? What if I did that? What if I did that? What would you think of that? I think I think that's a good idea. Purple. I don't have purple. But I think I think maybe the blue would look cool going into the white. Just saying, maybe. Maybe even the pink. I don't know, just thinking. Maybe the pink too. We can do all of them to satisfy everyone because that's what we do here. We satisfy everybody's needs. You want pink, you get pink. You want blue, you get blue. You want white, you get white. That's how it goes. If you want the gunmetal, you don't get the gunmetal, so piss off. Just kidding. <laughs> Mixing the pink and the blue together, you get a whole new set of rules. This is amazing. And I didn't really waste anything. All right, you ready for the reveal? Let's see what this hot mess got going on. Let's see what happens. It's all stuck in there. Woo! Pretty! Okay. Now that's some pretty ish right there. We did all kinds of colors. <laughs> we just went all willy nilly. Alright, let's clean this off before I ruin it. Let's move that before I ruin it. Where did I do with that? Up here? Is that the wrong way? Yeah. Because the last thing I need to do is ruin my stencil. If I ruin it, I'm going to be angry. Okay. That's very pretty. Let's see if I can dry it a little bit. I don't know how long this stuff takes to dry.
some of the paste bubbled off from the middle. That looks cool. That looks cool. I don't think it's pretty. If I left it just like this, I could pro I can likely mail it without an issue, I think. But I'll probably add some other crap to it because, you know, that's what I do. That's what I do. That's what I do. Oh, what are we going to do with this poor bastard? This poor bastard. Sitting over here all quiet all day. Saying, please love me. Love me. Love me. It's not very opaque, is it? Not really. It's not very opaque. I don't want something that's not opaque. Not good enough. How about... Let's just throw some purple on there and see what happens. Hey. Hey now. Come on. Good lord. Oh, that ain't going to be pretty. Because I have green on my brush. Not helpful. How about we clean the brush, dumbass? Clean the brush first. How about we... How about we just dry this really quick and then I'll go over it. <laughs> there we go. That's better. It'll probably still take a couple of coats to go over that, but whatever. We're just messing around.
Dang it. Come on, brush. Cut me some slack. Slack, I say slack. I might need that one. And Good enough. I like blending things together. Oh, look, I missed a corner. How did I do that? Merry Christmas to all and all a good night. There's that one. Can you see the colors? Go from yellow to purple. Which looks doesn't look purple on there. That's another thing. This camera does not show purple. That looks blue to everybody, but it's actually a dark purple. Does it look purple concentrated in the bottle? Nope. It looks like a weird blue color, but that's like a really grapey colored purple. Good job, camera. Good job. You know your colors. Okay. What are my cards themed? Are you talking about mine or somebody else's? If you're talking, oh, you're probably not talking to me. Because you would have it in caps if you were talking to me, right? Right? You're not talking to me because clearly I don't have a theme. I'm themeless.
I'm themeless. <laughs> that was like a take on the song Shameless. one a lot. I like it because I love green and well it's like a teal color here but I love green and purple and yellow and purple together. Love those colors together. They are awesome. I think Janet needs to take a vacation over here to the United States. That's what I think. She works way too hard. She does a lot of great work, and I think she deserves a vacation over to the United States. <laughs> All right. I feel like adding a flower on here, but I can't paint. Do I want to do it this way? Yeah. I guess this way would be the best way, right? Or this way. And that could be like, I don't know, purple sky or purple ground. Do I want purple ground or purple sky? I would like to paint a flower, but I'm afraid that I'll screw it up. I would like to paint an orange flower, actually, and make every color of the rainbow. I'm going to try to paint a flower. I'm just going to paint a daisy because I can't paint. Worth a damn. I'm not a painter. It's not my thing. I don't even know what kind of brush to use. <laughs> I'm over here just like staring at the brushes going, hmm, how about this? Let's do a daisy. Do a dollop of daisy. Let's start by going like this. Oh, this is going to be awful because the paint is going to need a second coat because it's not opaque. So that means I'm going to have to do this more than once. And I can't paint. I can't draw. Not my thing normally to do. One? How many should we do? One, two, or three? I'll have to come back to that. Maybe we should do an orange one, a white one, and a yellow one. Alright, I'm going to have to come back to that, so we'll leave that paint there. Hopefully it won't dry up. Because it's not going to look right with just one, I don't think. Let's see, do I have white paint? Yes, I do. Ugh. Dripping it on me doesn't help. Just put a 
dropped. Let's see where this disaster ends us up. This one's going to be a smaller one. I just stuck my hand in the other one. Brilliant! Now you know why I'm not a painter. Because I can't even keep my own hands out of things. Alright, that's good for that one. Now let's make a yellow one. We'll use this yellow, maybe. Alright. Yep, 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 yep. I'm going to have to go over these a couple of times. Chose the easiest flower humanly possible that a four year old could draw. <laughs> you notice I didn't do a complicated rose or a lily or any kind of crap. I did <laughs> the easiest possible flower that exists. A daisy. I can't screw that up too bad. I mean, I've screwed these up pretty bad. They're not the greatest, but they're, you know, I, I, I'm okay if you. Compare me to a four-year-old. I'm good with it. I'm okay with that. That one looks a little wonky. Let's go back to the white one for a second. Let's go back to the orange. I should have used my better paints for these so that I didn't have to keep going over it with coat after coat after coat because I'm sure better quality paints would have been a little bit of a better idea but that's okay because I'm going to take a little pink 
and go in the middle of this one and do something. That might have been a bad idea. Did I just screw up my flower? I probably just screwed up my flower. I can always go back over it with orange if I did screw up my flower. Yeah, I probably did screw it up. <laughs> and let's just go back over it with some orange. And we'll just not pretend we didn't do that. I don't like it. I'll just pretend we didn't do it in the first place. That's what you do in life. You screw up and you just pretend you didn't. Run over your neighbor's dog and just look in the other direction and pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sadly, there are people like that, though, in the world who do things like that. Okay, this time, we're just going to keep it really simple and go, whoop, haha, <laughs> flower complete, or something like that we will do. I'll probably do a little bigger one, since it's such a big flower. There we go. Good enough. And my leg is falling asleep. And we can add a little yellow into it. Into the center of it. And make it look crappy also. Alright. Let's do... You know what? Let's do different yellow on that one. Because I don't like this one. I need a brighter yellow. Let's fix it. There we go. That's how we fix it. very misshapen flowers. They are very misshapen. That's okay. That's okay. They're doing their thing. I don't like the center of that flower, but that's okay too. It's doing its thing. We will do white center in this one. And a pink center in this one. Okay. Now I will put a, a stem of some sort with green. We'll do the green. We'll do a dark green and a light green. Oops, too much paint. Too much paint. Leak out. Come on, jackass. Just 
leaked out all over the place. Well, the stem's too thick. I do not have the lightest touch when it comes to painting, which is why I don't like painting fine detail. Ugh, oh, I just splattered. Oh. Hold on. Splattered water all over the place. Ugh, gross. Okay, let's see if we can't fix this sucker. We can. We can always fix it. It's never, it's never a, an issue. Okay, let's put this now a little bit better of a job. That's better. Good enough. Good enough. Let's put this a lot of paint back in there. And the other ones can just be spread. Here's our flowers. I didn't put any leaves yet though. I don't know, do I want leaves? I'm not very good at leaves. Maybe I'll put leaves. I shouldn't have cleaned up the paint then, should I? Goes to show you how bright I am. I'm just gonna pull it out of the bottle, out of the cap. Here, let's put some leaves on there. I'm going to put loads of leaves. That's what you do when you're not good at something. Do lots of them. Let's do these. This color. Pew, 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 pew. It's got to be bigger. That's all. We just need to make them bigger. That one's really big for that little flower. Well, it's kind of like the concept of tulips on these ones. Tulips are little flowers with really big leaves. And even though these are not daisy leaves, I'm sure, these are my flower's leaves, which are made up in my dimensional world. And these are called poodle flowers, even though they don't look like poodles. A poodle discovered them back in 1958, 
when his owner was walking him through the woods and he started to eat one of these flowers. So his owner called it a poodle flower. That's what these are. They have, they look like daisies, but they're not daisies. They're, they disguise as daisies, but they have big leaves like tulips <laughs> or whatever other flower has a big leaf, but they're not, they're poodle flowers. You know what distinguishes them as poodle flowers? They have little curly cues that come off of them. Hey, get off of me. They have these little curly cues, which would look better in lighter paint. Because then you'd be able to see the damn things. That would make more sense. And you know what would make even more sense? A smaller brush to do that with. I have it. I know I've got a smaller brush here. Let's try this one. No, that one ain't gonna work. How about this one right here? Never used this brush before, but let's see what happens when I do. It, it, it makes it. Why isn't it not right? What is wrong with these brushes? <sighs> Give me a brush that works. Isn't that the whole point of these brushes? Is to do pointy things with them? And then you go to do a pointy thing and it just says, screw you, I'm just going to not do the pointy thing? Good God, that's horrible. Seriously, people. Make a brush that works. Let's try this one. This will be better. Yeah, this one's better. Well. That's better. See? This is why they're called poodle flowers. They've got these wonky things coming out of them. I don't know. They're dark as There we go. There's my damn flowers. That was a very quiet process.
I don't know. I've set my hand in more paint than I've used on the canvas. Isn't that the truth? Uh, I, I shouldn't show them to you close up because you wouldn't think they're so awesome. <laughs> they're really bad though. They have no definition whatsoever. <laughs> they're kind of bad, but whatever. I don't care. I had fun making them. My drawing and, and painting abilities are laughable. I could paint a good tree, though. I, I could do a tree and I could do, like, foliage and stuff. As long as I don't have to paint any actual shapes, I'm good. But I can do, like, the techniques where you do the brush and you get the, the different foliage and the leaves and stuff. I can do that. That's my extent. It was, like, Bob Ross stuff where he would just tap all that tap all that foliage in and different colors. I can do all that. Ask me to draw a straight line or an actual defined shape and I'm going to look at you and go, no, I can't do it. <laughs> Not my OBS is starting to act up now. Dots, dots, dots. Why is everybody saying dots? What does that mean? Dots in the middle. What are you talking about? Of the flower? You want to put dots in the middle? Is that what you're talking about? Dots in the middle. Okay. I'm, I'm imagining that's what you're saying for me to do. I will put dots in the middle if it'll make you happy. And actually, we can use, let's use the white fine liner so that I don't further screw anything up if it'll work for me here. Yeah. I'll put some dots. Well, I screwed it up, but this one I need to fix the shape of it before I do anything. There we go. So I, I'll put dots in that one when it's dry. I put white dots in the other one. It's hard to see because my camera's kind of like whited out a little bit, but if I hold it close, maybe it'll unfocusly. Oh, it focused for a second. See, I put white dots. Yeah, when it's dry, I figure I'll go back in with a pen and I'll outline the petals. And stuff like that. But for now, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not a painter. I don't, I don't, I don't aspire to be a painter of that kind. I like doing abstract crap. Ah, oh, crap. OBS is acting up my, my thing. It keeps telling me I'm not connected. Am I freezing up on you guys? It's 
Well, I think we're going to end here anyway because I can tell that my screen is acting weird on my end. And it's getting late and I've been at it for hours. But I had fun. I really did. I love painting. I love getting messy. I think this one's my favorite out of all of them though. Just because I actually painted it. Even though it's, I mean, I'm not a good painter. I can paint. Obviously I've painted. I've been painting. But I'm not good at it. But that's okay. I still like it. Because it's my poodle flowers and they have a story. And now I like this one the best because of it. But I'll outline it later. I gotta let it completely dry before I do that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll be putting up a video soon where you can watch me do some really cool texture things like you saw me kind of do with this. You'll see some more of that which ends up looking cool. I'll even show you what I end up um, what one of the things I end up making is uh, this here, which is really cool and grungy and awesome. And uh, I turned it into a book cover because I said in the video I was going to turn it into a book cover, and I did. And on another video, maybe I'll show you me working on that or something. Some of the other things I did in that video was this stuff here. I cut up some of the paper I was working on. But um, this I've done, I already did before the video, but I don't know what that is. But I did that, and I showed how to do all these different textury things. These could have been, these, these could be postcards. Um, but yeah, so I showed how to do all that. The video is going to go up as soon as we're done here. I'm going to upload it, and then it'll be up. So it'll take about an hour or so. And then something else I'm, work, I'm working on, but... I didn't do in a video or anything um, is this this was a piece of junk mail that I had gotten in the mail and it was like one of those trifold things well I took it and I covered it with book page like vintage book book page and then I stamped it and then I painted it and I did all kinds of stuff and put some burlap on the edges that had like keys on it and I did that and I'm probably gonna put something in that I don't know yet I haven't decided, but I've been messing around. So I hope you guys enjoyed your Friday night party with me and hanging out with me because I had a blast. I love painting and getting messy. It's so much fun. So, yeah. And my drop paper looks really cool, so I'm loving that. Maybe I'll keep it down because I'm going to finish my flower and I might do... Who knows, I might do some more painting tonight because I'm in the mood. So I might do that after I take a break and stretch my legs for a little while and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys have fun. Have a good weekend. Tomorrow I'm going to a couple art galleries to look around. If I can get Chris out of bed to take me, that would be nice. But there's a couple art galleries I want to just go and look around. So it'll be a nice day to do that um, if I can if I'm up for it tomorrow. I hope to see all your postcards and see you post pictures of them on the Pink Poodle Pack group. And yeah, have a great rest of your weekend, ladies. I think it's mostly ladies in here. Poodle Pack out. Mm -hmm.